All right. What is up, traders? What's up, tycoons? Super excited for today's video. Can't wait to tell you guys about Bug. Okay, this is ticker symbol BUG. And the reason it's got a lot of my attention right now is because this is the Global X Cybersecurity ETF. Now, why is this so important? Is because AI is taking over the world right now, and that's all people can talk about. We just saw Nvidia go up over twenty percent off of in earnings uh, because right now they are the leader in AI. Now, it's not. AI itself that they're the leader in, what it is, is if you compare this to the gold rush, they are the leader, all right, and they are the people selling people the shovels and the picks, right? Those are the people that made most of the money in the gold mines was the people selling, you know, the tools that you need to actually go out there for the gold rush. And that's what NVIDIA does is they sell the tools out there to actually have the AI capabilities, right? And they're the best at it. Now, one thing that I think is being slept on as part of the shovels and the tools for AI is cybersecurity, okay? We hear lots and lots of people talk about the potential dangers, right, and how we need to have more secure and more safety around AI and artificial intelligence, all right? And if we take a look at some of these cybersecurity stocks, a lot of them haven't seen the big moves that other AI stocks have been seeing. So we're going to talk about bug in particular today. We're going to go over uh, a couple different charts, all right? Uh, some of the weekly charts, all right? And then we're going to look at this daily chart pattern right here known as the bump and run. Uh, we're going to break down all of these right now. And, you know, things look kind of good from a technical analysis standpoint. We're going to break down the charts as always, none of this content is, um, you know, meant to be taken as uh, legal, financial, or investment advice. This channel is for informational and educational purposes only. Um, trading in stocks, bonds, commodities, and crypto involve a significant risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. So, you know, be sure to read through the full disclaimer. All right, we'll go ahead and get into the video. Um, and <clears throat> I want to start off here. So what we have here is our weekly time frame which is a larger time frame, And it looks like we just completed a bearish five wave structure, right? We have a one, two, three, four, five here. Markets tend to move in three and five wave structures. And to me, it looks like it completed this five wave structure and we'd be looking for some type of a correction, okay? Up to our wave four area, right? That's where we're gonna look uh, potentially for a correction. Now, currently, um, to get up to you know this area here, which is going to be roughly around twenty eight dollars, all right, we need to break through these three levels right here. What these are is this is the sixty one point eight fifty percent and thirty eight point two percent retracement levels. These are the three most common and well respected Fibonacci levels. Uh, there are others, but as I mentioned, you know, we I like to focus on these to not have too many things on the chart. These are the three most common and well-respected. And if you take a look right here at 2421 is our 50% level. And we did just come up to that area and we're facing a little bit of resistance right around there here currently at the moment. All right. But what we want to see is if we can really break through that area. All right. Um, the way you use the fibs is to identify trend continuation versus reversals because nothing moves in a straight line down and nothing moves in a straight line up. You get a move down retracement continuation lower or a move up retracement continuation higher. And so you can see that very clearly. Right. We have a move down then we retrace, continue the trend, retrace, continue the trend. And that was our bearish five wave count. Now, you can also use it to spot reversals, not only the trend continuation, right? So in that case, you know, what you want to see is you want to see a move down retracement, and then you start to consolidate a little bit and break through those retracement levels, you can spot a potential upside reversal, right? Same thing to the downside. If you move up, retrace, consolidate, and break through those levels, that's how you can spot a potential downside reversal. So look at what we've done. We've moved down, we've retraced, and we've been consolidating here right around and facing resistance right around our 38.2 and 50% retracement levels and we're going to see potentially can we break out and flip 2531 to support from resistance if we can do that then that's when we have a chance of getting our reversal potentially up here to 28 dollars so you know that's one thing that i'm looking at on the weekly time frame all right, kind of suggesting that, hey, we hit a bottom of a bearish structure and we're looking for some type of a bounce. Now, it has had a pretty strong bounce already, um, but, you know, uh, it looks like there may be potentially more room to go. We also had a very clean head and shoulders play out. OK, you know, we had the left shoulder over here. We had the head right here at the right shoulder. And you can see that that head and shoulders played out, took us right down to where it should have. Um and what I'm really looking at now is these uh, these key zones right here. OK, so, you know. 
if you take a look, um, we, you know, we had lots of resistance in this area where we came down, came down, and ultimately we broke through this area and then it became an area of support where we went up, went up, went up each time we came down to this level. And you can see it was support again over here. We came up, support again over here, came up, support again over here. And ultimately we broke through it and now we've been rejecting it. Okay. So old support becomes new demand, uh, or, you know, new resistance and, you know, old supply becomes new demand, right? And that's these things kind of flip flop. So now what we're seeing is we're seeing many, many rejections to the downside now each time that we've tested this level. But the more times you test the level, right, the weaker it's going to get. So, you know, we see we tested it a bunch as, um, you know, support throughout here. And eventually after testing it all those times, it finally broke. And now it's resistance. And after rejecting it many, many times, I mean, look at how many candles right here, you know, two on the weekly chart three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, about eight or nine times, okay, we've rejected this area on the weekly time frame, And, you know, it seems to be that we possibly could be trying to actually break through this zone. And the next target area is going to be right around $28, which also aligns with the Fibonacci reversal right here. If we're able to flip 2531 to support from resistance, um, then we would also be targeting right around that $28 area. So, you know, there's different ways you can do technical analysis. And these are just some of the things that I'm seeing when it comes, um, you know, right here to, you know, the bug weekly time frame. If we zoom in and take a look at this daily chart, okay, we have what's known as a bump and run. Um, so, you know, <clears throat> essentially, this is your bump right here and you have the prevailing downtrend, okay? And then it starts to run to the downside, right? So, you know, you have the prevailing downtrend and then it goes on a really steep decline, right? And you can see that. And we just broke through this trend line and the way the bump and run pattern works is you're going to, um, you know, break this initial trend line, come up here, and then you break through there as well. And you would be looking for a move up, right? And, you know, <clears throat> it's going to be really interesting to see if we play this out, right? I'll go ahead and show you guys an image real quick of the daily bump and run uh, so you guys can see what the pattern looks like. And so here you guys can see a bump and run, right? So you have the lead in bearish trend, okay? And then you get this sharp decline trend line here as well. All right. And then you're going to look for the run, the run up. Right. And so we've already started this process and we're currently right around here. It looks like on the chart and potentially we could come up, test that trend line and potentially even break through this one all the way up, um, you know, on the bug time frame. Right. So if we if we go back to bug real quick and take a look there. OK, this is what we're looking at. All right, daily bump and run, and we have the prevailing downtrend, we have the bump, and we're looking to see if we can get the run, right? We have the move up, pull back, and we're looking to see if we can come up to this trend line and potentially even break this trend line and start heading up even higher. So, you know, um, bug does look good. I don't have a position in it currently, but it's definitely on my watch list. And if things stay bullish in the market, um, I wouldn't be surprised to see if bug starts to have a nice rally. Um, you know, a lot of the hype and attention has been on AI stocks right now. And certain other stocks have been lagging a little bit. Um, and we're going to see, you know, does bug actually start to um, catch up to some of these AI stocks or maybe is the market overbought and things start to pull back down? Uh, you know, we don't have crystal balls, so we can't predict the future. But what we can do is look for good setups, um, you know, and try to get the best entries and exits as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, um, you know, you can use the link uh, in the description or the pinned comment below and check out Simply Wall Street. That will get you guys a 14 day free trial, as well as up to 40 percent off of your purchase. If you do decide to get the paid version. It's a really nice platform uh, and it's really, really awesome. Um, you know, I've used the platform for a while and finally got them as a sponsor. So it helps you guys do fundamental analysis, right? If you're not a professional and you don't know how to do fundamental analysis or you're not a pro at fundamental analysis, Simply Wall Street breaks things down very simple and very easy for you guys and also gives you nice graphs and visuals. Uh, it's a really, really great platform that can really help you guys out a lot. What I want you to do is use it and actually go type in, you know, a stock that you're looking at investing in right now, or maybe look up some of your favorite stocks on there and see what it has to say. You know, is the company overvalued or undervalued? What are the price to earnings? What are the price to sales looks like? Um, you know, and it, especially compared to its peers or other people in the industry as a whole, uh, different things like that. It's a really great platform. I highly recommend using it and you can use that link in the pinned comment down below uh, to help support the channel if you guys would like.